Spring has come in full force, and my sinuses have just been feeling the full brunt of it, so I might sound a little bit different this episode. Uh, it's kind of ironic, though, that uh, in-game, I have just been working with all the plants. Uh, I have been doing quite a bit of live streaming over here, planting this wheat field. It has been growing slowly but surely. I haven't actually been placing water underneath here because uh, I think it just looks better. It, it'll all grow eventually. It'll just be a little bit slower than it would otherwise uh, because I do have water over here and I just think it kind of looks a little bit ugly. <laughs> uh, there's a way to hide it. I'm thinking maybe with uh, hay bales. I think I have a one hay bale over here. Uh, where where it go? Oh, here it is. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe doing hay bales or something like that if I do decide to do water. But yeah, for now, I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I've been doing that and I've also been uh, harvesting uh, where is it? All, yes, all of the wood. All of, <laughs> all of this birch wood. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot in chest form, but trust me, this took a while. Uh, this is all these, all these birch logs are for the floor of my factory that I want to get started on this episode. Uh, well, hold, I say started on, I want to finish the floor of the factory this episode and try to get some decent progress on this. Uh, even even with the outer walls that I've kind of outlined, uh, it's still mu not really much more than just a wall and this machine I built. <laughs> so that's my plan for this episode, but uh, I do want to take a quick little detour though, just to show you a little bit of what else has been going on the server. Pizza Buff and Tree Muffins have had a little bit of a rivalry going on here. I'm actually going to bump up my gamma just so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I kind of stopped by here in a stream once, but I haven't, I haven't really showed this off on camera. They have been mining a lot. <laughs> Pizza's had one tunnel bore. Uh, he's actually built a second one because Tree has just kind of come in here and just done this, basically. Uh, it is, there is a tunnel down there. It's very, very far, and I actually just ran out of rockets, so... Uh, I'm not gonna <laughs> fly all the way over there, but yeah, they've been uh, they've been busy. Don't mind me, just grabbing some rockets because I just ran out. Where is your Where is your rocket chest? There, there we go. Let's yep, grab some. There, yeah. Yep. Yep. Bye. <laughs> but don't kill yourself. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, Tree built this pyramid. Uh, it's not quite filled up. If it's, I think he's been working on filling it up. Uh, but Pizza has now actually come in and also started his pyramid here uh which i think uh yeah it's like one block bigger on both sides so oh hello what where is that coming from hello oh hi <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna leave these two guys to it what's also really funny is i spent so much time collecting birch logs and then sky just went and built a wood shop <laughs> like immediately afterward grant this is still only about a quarter of what i needed but it would have helped a little bit but anyways hey guys this is pokemon going one and welcome back to another episode on echo craft uh i normally did my intro way earlier than that that took a while uh oh i have a horse actually one more one more thing before i actually get started i have where where's the horse where'd it go i don't have a lead so i don't have it actually tied up anywhere it just kind of wanders horse there you are uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I found this guy while I was working on the wheat field and uh I like the color. I like the uh the gray one, the gray one with the white spots. It just really looked really nice and I had a saddle on me just randomly. So yeah, don't have a name for it. I just have a horse that just kinda roams and does whatever it wants. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, like I said, I want to do the floor. So let's go ahead and grab some birch logs because uh, we are going to strip all of this eventually. Uh, I have a lot of random... Why do I have Wither Skulls in my inventory? I'm just going to grab <laughs> some of that. Just dump that really quick. For the floor of this factory, I have a specific design I have in mind that I think will be... It will work really, really well. So basically, we're going to have these kind of stripes that go along horizontally like this. And then we're going to break these up a little bit. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. That. Okay. Yeah. That's going to work. So we're basically going to have these stripes broken up by little designs. So for the most part, they're going to be continuing sideways like this. Uh, we're going to have basically these three block gaps and then have a little two block thing right here. And then a one block thing right here. I'm 
being very bad at explaining this. Basically, we're gonna have these stripes along and then we're gonna keep alternating like this. So two, one, two, one, and then uh, as over here, I will actually go uh, two here and then one here. I I'm I don't know how to explain this any better. My allergies are kicking in. My brain is tired. I just want to do this because it's been so long since I've logged onto the server. Uh, so yeah, we're basically doing doing something like this. Hopefully it makes sense, and then everything else is going to be filled in horizontally. Let's just get yeah, let's just get a good amount of this done, and then strip it all down so you can actually see what I'm talking about. And boom, floor. <laughs> So uh, you can see, it's not a crazy advanced design. Uh, I think it's, I think it works really well. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy to replicate, um, and just kind of expands towards this whole thing while still feeling like there's something going on. There's something a little bit, I don't know, industrial about it. Because keep in mind, this is still supposed to be a factory. And something I was actually a little bit surprised about looking at reference images and stuff is old English factories, like the one I'm trying to replicate, actually a lot of them have wooden floors, which I was kind of surprised. I thought most of them would be stone. But I think it really works. I think I like the warmer color of it. I don't think I would have really liked to, to just kind of extend stone bricks into here. It would have made this whole thing feel... I don't know, just a little bit too hard. <laughs> but I think having the wood here really makes this whole place feel a little bit nicer. Uh, but I've actually kind of stopped here because there's actually going to be a big thing here in the middle that I actually need to kind of build first and then build around. I think I mentioned in the last episode, but all these hoppers here are actually really temporary because I'm going to be building a huge pit <laughs> like a massive like water pit uh that all the wa all the different farms around here because there's gonna be multiple farms there's gonna be there's this one once auto crafters come out that's gonna be really nice i'm gonna be able to make a uh, coarse dirt super super easily by uh, just throwing gravel and dirt into a machine uh and then there's gonna be another big machine here and all these are going to be feeding into the pit. Just this big collection system that's going to be, hopefully, I think it looks pretty cool. I say hopefully as if I haven't actually seen it yet. It's going to look really cool and it's going to make things easier to automate, which is going to be really, really nice. And this is going to be primarily made out of stone, which is also why I didn't want the floor made out of stone. It just all blended together too much, but I think it pops out now. Uh, now I just need to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, hey! This is actually perfect. I did not plan it like that, but that's really nice. <laughs> now, I am going to actually have to take this down a little bit. <laughs> this little temporary ladder I made. Uh, because this is actually going to be in the way of uh, the staircase that we're actually going to be putting here. So, yeah. This, it's nice that I'm, I'm measuring this out now because this is actually all in the way. This needs to go out, I think, 8 blocks two three four five six wait one two three four five six seven eight and then this needs to be 33 blocks back i'm not using light mac over this uh which i would normally do because i want to i want to do a little bit less time lapses and more just kind of building along ah that was a big lag spike <laughs> okay but anyway this needs to be 12 blocks back one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh okay well something went wrong there what went wrong this is this is what can happen when i'm not using lightmatic ads here yeah this needs to be one block forward like that yeah i want to do a little bit more of like taking you guys along through the building process but i also just don't trust myself to wing stuff on camera <laughs> because i do not have that kind of confidence and now the reason this part's sticking out at the front is just so we can uh put in some staircases here that's a lot of slabs but i do need okay i do need slabs around the rim so that's fine <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have the staircase up at the top that lets you just kind of be up here and look at what's what's going down in the in the pit. My scratchy algae written voice is just perfect for a dramatic effect. Now I'm not gonna do a ton of this right now. I really just want the outline so we can get the floor done. But I am gonna put uh, some walls around here just so you, to kind of show you what the sides of this thing are gonna look like. Basically, we got we're gonna have walls along the bottom and the back and stuff like this just to kind of. Make it pop out a little bit. Just give it a little bit of extra depth. Just like the floor. It's something fairly simple that doesn't really bring too much attention to itself. But it really just makes the whole thing feel just a little bit more uh, a little bit more detailed. It's stuff like this that I really like playing around with in Minecraft. Not, you know, not like super intricate stuff. Just stuff that doesn't bring attention to itself but works. Even though this is still just a very, very flat, <laughs> you know, plane. Alright, now I finished the floor and I think it's looking really, really good. Now... 
uh, I logged off over the weekend and someone's been here <laughs> and they've left some signs and I don't know what's oh gosh what is this what's going on why is there a cactus everywhere oh man well okay I know where the, I know why there's cactus everywhere I know exactly who's done this oh he's been playing around my wheat field and everything okay so pizza if you didn't know he's he's kind of doing his own little storyline uh just kind of by himself <laughs> no one else is involved but he's basically just like invading the server with cactus i don't know what's going on here you know i'm gonna check that out in a second i need to see how, how widespread this is because i would not put it past pizza to target me specifically okay there's a few here at spawn i'm not exactly sure what what's already been here and what's new holy cow oh sky's base it's probably because she's in this uh she's near spawns so this is probably loaded way way more often <laughs> but wow what is this <laughs> he has been everywhere hi <laughs> <laughs> i was i pulled up obs because i was going to mess with you and as soon as i opened obs my game crashed oh <laughs> <sighs> how's it going i've just been flying around seeing how far this cactus uh plague has spread <laughs> because there's a lot at my base right now that wasn't here two days ago right yeah it it has infested and um to be honest i think we need to kind of do something about it i know we need to have like an intervention or something <laughs> and get 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 a bunch of echoes together and just like Get, get together and just dispose of it all in, in his face. <laughs> well, I was thinking something a little bit more uh, sinister. Ah, what? Like what? <laughs> Maybe fill his base with it. <laughs> Every <laughs> single block we can. Full checkerboard. Full checkerboard. <laughs> Give him a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> is that... How far is this? Has it spread down here? Yeah, because like he's reached down here which i didn't even know this existed yeah i had him come down here because i was getting his input uh, the other day and he just started planning it everywhere while you, he was you, here you let right him in, in. <laughs> yeah he hasn't hit the end i'm actually low-key surprised by that <laughs> but uh let's let's actually go back uh and check out this sign over here because i oh man i don't what is this what's going on oh it's tree Oh, pizza and tree have teamed up. I don't like this already. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> hello, Pokemaniac. We hope you're having a fantastic day today. We would like to offer you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that you have no choice in taking. I'm using this IOU. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I thought I'd see the end of that. Okay. You must retrieve three stacks of diamond ore to contribute to the diamond pyramids for tree and pizza. You may gather this ore as you, as you like, but we recommend using... Either tunnel bore that we own. You may. Bleh. If you break a bore, you owe another stack of ore block to its owner. Regards, Pizza and Tree. Uh, they're having me mine for them. They've set aside their differences to target me specifically. <laughs> oh, what is this? P.S. Using the bore, you three stacks should only take about an hour. Okay, well, that's, that's nice at least. Don't forget to remove gravel. Feel free to burn or cactus the IOU once do done. Yes, I will definitely be getting rid of this or throwing it in an ender chest for the rest of the season <laughs> because i feel like this thing has too much history to just straight up destroy so i'll keep it i'll keep it for the world download also nice floor design agreed <laughs> okay well at least at least that paid off speaking of the floor i actually shifted it forward one block or backward i guess that towards the back of the factory uh I, yeah i got I got through building about a quarter of it and then realized I didn't exactly like how it lined up with the back. I wanted this strip to be along the back of the pit. Uh, so yeah, I shifted it forward because that would have annoyed me otherwise. No one else would have noticed, but I would have. <laughs> it also means this isn't completely flush with this. I didn't I didn't want that either. So a couple reasons why. But yeah, floor is done. <laughs> <laughs> After that little uh, that little detour, the floor is done, and I think it looks really nice. All right, now let's start getting this cleaned up, because now it's time to actually build the pit itself. Now, I need to drop by spawn really quick, because the pit is actually going to be mostly made out of iron blocks, which sounds expensive, 
but we actually have this community iron farm here that has just been pumping out iron <laughs> for uh, how long has it been? Almost a year now, basically non-stop. It's been in the spawn chunks this whole time, and uh, yeah, we have shulkers and shulkers full of iron. These are actually empty. That was not the right uh, chest to demonstrate with, that with, but okay, look here. Yeah, all these here, and it's completely free, so <laughs> iron is not an issue. So the idea is we're going to have a little bit of a walkway around it, and then on the inside, we're gonna just going to have this steel basin kind of thing. So we're going to have everything come around like this, and on the inside, it's basically just going to be like a tiered water system. We're going to have water flows gradually going towards the middle, where there's going to be a single collection system that's going to go under and up through the storage uh, warehouse that I'm going to be building right here. Okay, so I got three layers right here, and this is going to go deeper, but I'm actually not going to build all of it because keep in mind that we still have walls that are going to be going around here. So a lot of this is going to be hidden, so I can actually cheap out on iron. Even if it is completely free, I still don't want to be <laughs> using more iron than I have to here. So, okay, so we're going to have basically this this platform go out eight blocks, which is obviously the normal water flow. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to have another one go eight blocks out this way. I hope I counted that right. I was still talking. <laughs> and basically, we're going to have these meet in the middle. And then once they do, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't talk. I can't talk while I count. One second. All right, they're gonna meet in here, and then we're gonna. Oh, that scared. Why did that scare me so bad? <laughs> Zombies haven't scared me in a long time. Oh, I literally jumped. I literally jumped. That was. <laughs> I did. Maybe it was because I didn't think they could get to me. I thought these walls might have been too low or something like that. Anyway. Oh, okay. Water here. We're gonna have. <laughs> Once they meet up here, we're gonna have them start going uh, horizontally. Is this horizontally or? I don't know which way. We're going to have them going <laughs> the opposite way, 90 degrees uh, this direction. We're going to have one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. That was perfect. And again on this side, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Yes, eight. Okay. <laughs> and then we're just going to have this square in the middle with water in each corner. Come on. Why is everything sneaking up on me? I've lit up, lit up this area pretty... Okay, well, I had, the, I had this area lit up pretty well, but I guess putting the floor in got rid of all the torches I had in those areas. Okay, yeah, I should probably try to lie up this place better. So yeah, we're gonna have this hole in the center and if everything lines up correctly, which I think it should, yes, okay. We have this one hole in the middle that everything's gonna drop down and we're gonna have a hopper system or um, another water system that's gonna flow underground towards the, the other building. But since we don't have that building yet, uh, this is all we've got so far. And now I can just go ahead and Fill in all the rest of this. Let's just not use the shovel in that hand because that's going to make things more annoying than they have to be. We can go ahead and fill in all these platforms as well as all the walls that are going to be visible. Like I said, I don't want to have to spend more time than I have to on this thing. And there we... Oh, come on. It just goes thunderstorming all of a sudden. Okay, one second. That is the basin all done. So now we just have to fill in with water. And conveniently, I have all the iron I need for buckets right here. Wait, stop. Oh, I, I emptied a little bit of my inventory really quick, so I had room for buckets, and now, the, and now the dolphins are playing with all my stuff. Yeah, so these edge ones are just going to flow all the way along the edges like this. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that's going to flow all the way to down to this edge. And then the ones in the middle, I'm going to have buckets in all four corners like this, just to kind of pick up all the rest of the structures. And so those are going to all flow in the middle. There is a tiny issue here, though, that uh, the items are just going to float there. They don't actually fall. Okay, well, that one, that one fell down, but... Uh, give it a second. It's going to float back up. They don't always flow down the center like they're supposed to. Okay, well, that one. Okay. They keep proving me wrong, but point is, I have a fix for that. <laughs> We're just putting a chain there. We're just going to put a chain. That was the worst idea. Uh, <laughs> a chain right there, and then that just leaves an air gap that everything can fall down smoothly. And that is the pit. Functionally all done. My <laughs> my voice has gotten better over the past few days and now so that's not quite as dramatic. I still just set up a collection system underneath there because otherwise everything's just gonna pile up and despawn. <laughs> but uh, I can get to that off camera. You guys don't have to see at least not my makeshift little solution before I get to building the warehouse. Oh gosh, I was, oh no, I was flying over my wheat field in my inventory and I went to press one with my sword to get into my hotbar but I accidentally hit Q and now 
My sword is somewhere <laughs> in here. Oh, where did it go? Where is it in the water? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. I was actually afraid for a second that I was a little bit too far this way and I dropped it in this ravine. Oh, no, we're good. And now for this walkway up here, I'm actually using sandstone. Sandstone was actually the block I was originally going to use for the floor of the factory, but I eventually decided on the birch logs, which I really, really like. And you can do more of a special kind of pattern with it. You have more control versus just a flat floor made out of sandstone. It just didn't feel exactly right, but in small in a small dose like this, you know, kind of using it as a walkway, I felt like this worked much better and it gives it a little bit more of a contrast when you actually get up towards the pit and all the more, you know, industrial stuff kind of up here. Now we need Mojang just to make a cobbled sandstone block so we have this texture on all sides because that would look really really nice not for this build specifically i do like the uh the smoother top for this design but i feel like just in general it'd be really nice to have that kind of block to play around with and for this around here i'm actually gonna be putting some iron bars just kind of has a you know protective rail i don't know what's up with this though is that is that a sodium thing that might be a sodium thing and to finish this off, I like the idea of just having warning tape around here. So it's kind of alternating black and yellow, you know, kind of a don't cross this line type of thing that I feel like would fit perfectly just in a little factory kind of thing. Not much to say about it. It's just here. <laughs> Today's been a very much like explain my thought process sort of video. And when there's nothing to explain, it's a little awkward. <laughs> And now I'm doing the walls, but I actually thought I might try doing a, sort of like a little zigzag kind of thing. I don't know, a little, little pattern in here. If this doesn't work, I can just do all walls, but let's let's see what this looks like actually, because I just had this idea and I normally don't wing stuff on camera. So when I do, it's a big deal for me. <laughs> uh, I feel like there, I feel like there is potential there. I feel like I should probably actually do these two at a time and see how that looks. Cause that might work a little bit better. It might make it look a little bit less condensed. All right, I extended it to three blocks because I felt like that worked a little bit better and it didn't fit up quite perfectly in the back. So I've kind of got like a little extra block back there, but I think it's fine. Like I said, I'll think about it. I might change it later. Cause like I said, I, I really like the idea of having a lot of this stuff, not pay, not bring too much attention to itself specifically like, you know, when it comes to walls and stuff like that. Like I like the idea of using minimal details down here on like the factory floor because it's not supposed to look pretty it's supposed to be mainly functional so well, obviously it's supposed to look pretty but like <laughs> you know what i mean like it's supposed to be a factory there's there's a theme we're going for but yeah with that the pit is complete like just completely complete like nothing else no other little bit the detail well, besides the fact that there's no proper collection system but like i said i'm gonna mock up a little temporary one so that shouldn't matter at all but yeah, besides the fact, I think we've made some good progress today. We still don't have any walls. Uh, I, I'll i definitely prioritize walls next time. <laughs> because as much work as this did take, uh, it doesn't look like it when you have... It's just in the middle of an empty space like this. <laughs> also, now I apparently have a lot of diamonds to collect. So I should probably get to that but so yeah i think i'm gonna leave it here i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys are looking forward to seeing the rest of this turning out and i will continue to stream the wheat field expansion <laughs> because uh it's gonna go into this forest we're gonna be deforesting quite a bit actually um and doing a lot of terraforming kind of flattening down some of these hills so there's a lot of work ahead of us besides the building itself <laughs> so yeah hope you guys are looking forward to that but with that i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye